So does saw palmetto work for hair loss? And the answer to that question is, yeah. Yeah, it does. Gentlemen and ladies, welcome to the channel. This is Life Hacks Official, and my name is Aaron. Today, I'm going to share with you my experiences on saw palmetto. Here's the thing. Here's the thing about saw palmetto. Saw palmetto is a, you know, natural supplement that blocks DHT. What is DHT? DHT is basically a byproduct of testosterone. Uh, it is also responsible for pretty much the majority of all male pattern baldness, baldness male hair loss. What uh, DHT does, very sadly, very unfortunately, is it uh, causes the hair on the scalp to kind of thin, kind of uh, get more frail, kind of, kind of lose. It seems like a really silly thing because testosterone is great, right? Testosterone makes men, you know, stronger, gives us bigger muscles, all that sort of, you know, makes us feel better. It's all that sort of good stuff. All those things that most guys kind of want. Hey, but the problem is, the downside is that the more testosterone you have, probably the more DHT you're kicking out, the more DHT byproduct. And sadly, so unfairly, that is uh, causing us to lose our hair. Anyway, so here's the question. The question is, how do we slow, stop, prevent, the byproduct DHT from basically causing our hair to fall out. Uh, and if you use Rogaine, if you use Propecia, if you use Finasteride, the standard drugs for, for hair loss, what do these do primarily? They block DHT. That's how they work. In some cases, blocking DHT can perhaps maybe help your hair to regrow, but in my experience, blocking DHT really works more in the re effect of uh, stopping you from losing more hair. So if you've already lost all your hair, saw palmetto is probably not going to help you grow it back. But if you still have some hair, you want to preserve that hair, you want to keep it from falling out. Your, your pri you know, mission number one, your, your first priority should be to uh, help to block that DHT. Let me tell you a quick story about my experience with this. Now, there is a certain test that you can do where you sort of just take a pinch of hair, just like, uh, you know, put your two fingers together, grab a little pinch of your hair, pull gently, don't pull too hard, just pull kind of gently, and how many hairs do you have in your hand once you've kind of pulled like that? How many little hairs have, have just pulled out, right? Uh, if you have a handful, you know, a few hairs, half dozen hairs in your hand, that might mean that your hair is pretty, pretty weak and starting to fall out and it's just pretty frail. And that was the thing that I noticed I was having quite a lot of. I was having really thin, weak hair. I was pulling out, you know, maybe four or five hairs when I was doing this little test on a routine basis. They would just kind of pull out so easily. They were just barely in, you know, embedded in my scalp, right? The hair follicle was just kind of barely, and, and the hair follicles themselves were just like super thin. Uh, I didn't look under a microscope, but you could tell. They're, they're frail, they were thin, and they just pulled out super easy. Even if they weren't like falling out already, you could kind of pull them out of the root super easy. And that's a, sort of a symptom of just thinning hair, thinning hair. Uh, there's a few parts to this whole hair loss prevention equation, but let's start with DHT and saw palmetto. Now, saw palmetto, like, you know, finished ride uh, and uh, Rogaine, etc., blocks DHT, but it's a natural supplement. But I, in my humble opinion, it probably blocks as effectively as some of these drugs. At least, uh, maybe not, maybe not uh, as effectively, but certainly close to, if not on par with. It's hard to measure these sorts of things. I don't really know. But here's the thing about saw palmetto versus some of these other you know, drugs. These other drugs come with uh, certain side effects, if you know what I mean, right? <laughs> now, here's, here's the bitch of the equation guys you guys you guys can probably feel me on this one number one testosterone is great gives us bigger muscles makes us feel great you know uh, number two shit it uh, you know causes dht as a byproduct causes our hair to fall out uh, number three the way to stop dht is to use a dht blocker which has the unfortunate side effect of lessening our libido of 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 certain sexual side effects you could say that's not a kick in the ass. That doesn't seem fair. That doesn't seem fun. That doesn't seem great. <laughs> but, but here's the thing. Here's what I have experienced with saw palmetto uh, as a as a natural supplement, right? Saw palmetto for me, I I didn't experience anything in the way of reduced sexual libido, reduced any you know any issues in terms of side effects. There, you know, some side effects are like oh it might hurt your hurt your belly or something like that. I didn't experience anything like that whatsoever. I've been taking saw palmetto for probably. Yeah, seven years, eight years, ten years, I don't even know, man. It's been a long time. Uh, and I experimented with it early on, right? 
And uh, my story kind of goes like this. I was noticing my hair pull out very easy and then I started taking saw palmetto and you know you take something for six months or a year and you sort of forget what you're doing but then you kind of circle around to you know I was like all right doing a little hair test sitting in my car one day thinking you know that's weird my hair feels a lot hair feels actually quite a lot stronger and the little you know the little uh, follicles aren't really pulling out that's so interesting I wonder why and it occurred to me it's like you know what I've been taking saw palmetto so I was like oh shit I've been taking saw palmetto I bet you could that could that possibly yet now here's the thing guys now I have it, I repeated that experiment over a couple of years this took me a long time to actually arrive at a personal conclusion about and uh, basically what I you know kind of figured through um, forgetful rediscovery of what I was doing uh, and uh, experiencing the same results like you know I did that all again it happened again I was you know my hair started thinning when I stopped taking the saw palmetto and it got more brittle and easy to pull out and then I sort of would start taking the saw palmetto again and sure enough if it didn't get stronger it's like shit you know I've tried this a couple times I'm pretty damn sure it's the saw palmetto that's uh that's really helping the hair to stop falling out so yeah guys does saw palmetto help with hair loss absolutely it does will it help you to regrow your hair all right, so can saw palmetto stop you from losing your hair? Yes, it'll stop you from losing your hair to a great degree. Will it help you to regrow your hair? Maybe. There's a few more parts to that equation, actually, and it is possible to regrow hair, although you have to be pretty disciplined. There's a few parts to that equation. All right, so part number one, as we as we cover DHT, pretty much the primary source of hair loss for, for men in particular. Uh, part two, Circulation to the scalp. All right, so if, if you don't have good circulation to your scalp, uh, well, our, our hair, our, you know, our hair follicles are alive, right? They, they, they grow, they're alive. They need good circulation. They need like a fertile soil. Like if you throw seeds into a ground and you don't water the ground and it doesn't have any, you know, the ground isn't fertile. If it's dry sand, you're not going to grow much out of that. You have to think about your scalp in a similar way. So what you're going to want to do is make sure there's good blood flow and circulation to your scalp. Now there's a few supplements that can help with this. In addition, uh, one thing that, that I like to do, let's see here, is uh, just kind of, you, you kind of gently rub your scalp, right? Just kind of gently rub your scalp, uh, very gently, don't pull the hairs out, right? Don't pull the hairs. Uh, and you're just going to kind of uh, massage, massage for a few minutes. Uh, anywhere that you want to increase circulation to, right? It's a gentle, it's a gentle massage, gentle self scalp massage. Massage. So that's that's kind of ingredient number two. Good. Keep the keep good blood blood circulation uh, flowing to your scalp. Block DHT and part number three. Uh, oh, and actually, I did want to mention one thing. Uh, in terms of blood circulation to the scalp, this is a microderm roller. This is. Um, got little tiny little tiny needles on it little tiny titanium needles upon it so this is a treatment that you can also do once a week basically what you do is you create little micro punctures all along your your uh, your scalp uh, and what this does also is it increases blood flow to the scalp it starts to repair the scalp in those areas it helps to uh, basically uh, bring uh, nutrients and energy and and re re uh, uh, what's the word um, revitalization to the scalp because now it is entering into a state of repair right so you're letting you're you're forcing the the, the body to repair and revitalize the scalp area by creating micro just like micro holes oh and you would do this one once a week that helps with circulation here's what I'm gonna do all right so here's what I'm gonna do uh, in the description area nearby this video wherever you're watching it i'm going to put a, a few resources in one is where to get these you're going to want to get these at i believe it's the 1.2 1.2 millimeter i'm going to send i'm going to link up the size that you're going to want to get for the microderm needles if that's something you want to try i'm also going to link you a couple of supplements now here's the thing about saw palmetto uh, you can take it on its own by itself you can also try uh, and actually this is what I recommend, uh, you can also try sort of a multivitamin, not a multivitamin, uh, like a, you know, traditional multivitamin, but a multivitamin for your hair. So what uh, typically you will find in some great hair nutrient uh, formulas uh, are, are a formulation that includes saw palmetto and includes a number of other things, another number of other things like zinc, uh, like vitamin B, some essential hair growth 
nutrients. And so when you, the best way to take nutrients in is sort of in synergy. Everything is, is balanced in our body, like health is balanced. It's not extreme health, it, you know, it, it, extreme anything, good or bad, is out of balance and it's not necessarily the optimal state to be in. So when taking nutrients and supplements, what you're going to want to do is have a balance of those supplements uh, taken into your body in, a, in you know, the correct uh, uh, quantities. And that's why I, I like to take a, you know, a multivitamin supplement, hair growth supplement for my hair. And I'm going to put some links, like I say, by the description. I'm going to create some, some tools for you guys if you really want to follow some of these steps and help, you know, help, help grow your hair back. Um, uh, hopefully grow your hair back, at least stop it from falling out and possibly grow it back too. Um, so I'm going to put uh, all the resources that I've used and, and that I think might be helpful for you, for, helpful for you in, in a link nearby this video. Uh, but let's, let's talk about part number three. So part number three, and these uh, are, like I say, the three most important things to stopping hair loss and possibly regrowing hair as well. Uh, and that is... Uh, um, it's basic. Okay, so here's the thing. On our scalp, if you've ever noticed sort of any sort of itchy, itchy sort of dry, you know, flaky scalping issues, dandruff, right? Whatever the case may be. There's lots of lots of dandruff shampoos out there, etc. But here's the thing. Uh, dry scalp is not because your scalp is dry. Okay, dry scalp, flaky scalp, itchy scalp, those are because you have microbes, microbacteria, micro, microbial life forms, uh, funguses uh, growing on your scalp. And that's not, you know, something to be terrified about. That's just like normal for humans. We're like, uh, we're made up of microbes. We're like a symbiotic life form with like all sorts of microbes all over us. But in the case of your scalp, in the case of your hair growth, of positive hair growth, uh, a buildup of microbes, uh, of, of, micro of bacteria and funguses on your scalp can actually be nutrient uh, depleting, nu uh, nu nutrient robbing of, for your, of your scalp and your hair follicles, and it can uh, make it harder for your hair to, to grow if your scalp is, you know, overrun by, by these microbes. So what you're going to want to do, and I will link, like I say, link all of these tools in the description for this video. What you're going to want to grab is a shampoo called Nioxin. All right, so a shampoo and a conditioner. The shampoo and the conditioner work together. You're going to want Nioxin, and you're going to want to use these Nioxin shampoos every few days, basically whenever you have a shower and whatever, whenever you wash your hair. Uh, this will not only, number one, if, you're, if, you're, if your scalp ever is itchy and a bit flaky, this will solve that, kind of like head and shoulders, but less extreme and more, more geared to creating stimulation of the scalp and dealing with, the, like I say, the, any sort of fungus or bacterial issues that might be impeding uh, hair follicle regrowth. So those are, the, those are kind of the three things. Like I say, block DHT uh, using a multi multivitamin hair growth supplement. There are quite a few of them. I will link my favorites in the description. Number two, uh, stimulate the scalp. Sim stimulate the scalp. Uh, also, microderm needle helps with helps with the, helps with that. And number three, uh, deal with any sort of fungal and uh, bacterial overgrowth that might be leading to flaking and uh, and itching of the scalp and that sort of thing. You do those three things, you are absolutely on the right track to possibly regrow hair. Possibly, it kind of depends on the person, right? Like uh, some some guys can, some girls can. I don't actually know about girls. I mostly know about guys and male pattern hair loss and that sort of stuff. Um, but some guys can, some guys do. Uh, but I would say at least you will be able to severely minimize, if not entirely stop, uh, hair loss. And that's a huge part of the equation. Now, what you do, guys, you put your hair up in a bun, you cover up your bald spot like me. That's the way to roll. Keep what you have. Uh, here's the thing. If you're a young guy and you're just starting to notice hair loss, jump on this immediately. The sooner you start preventing that DHT from uh, corroding your corroding your, your beautiful hair, uh, you know, and making it weak and brittle and making it fall out, Oh man, the better you could you could preserve your hair decades beyond what you might otherwise maintain it for. So if you're just starting to notice notice hair loss, if you're kind of part way through, as soon as you can, basically as soon as you can, get on saw palmetto, start doing the the massage, get the shampoo going, get these treatments going, and you will at least be able to keep what you have for the most part. 
Um, that's it. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Like I say, I will put all these resources nearby wherever this video is, depending on what platform you're watching on. Hope you've enjoyed it. See you later.